Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the fifth week of Easter. Our Mass presider is Carlos, Father Carlos Rapadas, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Please rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us thank the Lord in this celebration of the Eucharist for the gift of new day, for the gift of new health, and for the gift of being together as one family, as children of God. And in order for us to be less unworthy to partake in this celebration, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and beg the Lord for His mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, restorer and lover of innocence, Direct the hearts of your servants toward yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. 
when they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church as well as by the apostles and the presbyters. And they reported what God had done to them. But some of the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact humility. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And everyone that thus he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine. So neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father's glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. A blessed day to all our Mass attendees here. And a blessed day also to our online Mass attendees 
here in the Philippines and in abroad. Sumayin niyo po mga kapatid ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong sa araw na ito. Gusto ko ring batiin ang aking mga kababayan sa aming bayan sa Bantay Ilocosur dahil ngayon ay piyesta nila. Naragsak na pa nagpiyesta kada kayo amin kakabsat. Makaka-relate sa ating ebanghelyo ngayong araw na ito ang mga plantitos at mga plantitas. Makaka-relate lalo na yung mga mahihilig sa halaman even before the pandemic happened. Makaka-relate dito si Father Ron Ray dahil mahilig siya sa halaman. Siya yung nag-aayos ng mga halaman in front of the residence and around the shrine. Kasi naman, it's really a good practice, di ba po, to you know, take care of the plants. And nakakaaliw ito, nakakaalis ng stress. And we hope that our concern and love for the plants is not a result of our boredom due to the pandemic. But we really hope that our sense of um, stewardship of the plants are out of our love and concern of them. As I've said, it's a good practice because plants offer us um, beautiful reflections about our lives. Sa mga mahilig sa halaman, lalo na yung mga na-board na during the quarantine, we we tried to grow plants inside our homes because maganda siya. May, may didilagan tayo araw-araw. May aalagaan tayo araw-araw. Hindi po ba? And for, for others, especially the farmers, nagtatanim tayo ng mga halaman, yung mga fruit-bearing trees, lalo na because of that sole purpose of the, the fruit dahil namumunga. Sometimes yung iba sa atin ay results-oriented. Gusto nating magtanim kasi gusto din nating anihin ang mga bunga. Mga kapatid, Jesus presents a challenge to each one of us, to all Christian, the challenge of bearing fruit and coming to an end result of our lives. He says to us, My Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And everyone that does, He prones so that it bears more fruit. Prine-pressure tayo, binibigyan tayo ng inspirasyon ni Jesus na dapat daw mamungang masagana ang bawat sanga. And in order to bear fruit, mayroong requirement na sinabi si Jesus. That requirement is the process of pruning the plants. Sa mga mahilig sa halaman, we all know that the pruning is necessary in order for the plant to grow beautifully. Diyan sa amin sa Mission House, meron kaming um, vine dyan. Hindi naman siya namumunga ng uh, marami. But you can, find, you can observe that the vine has a lot of branches. Kasi the purpose of the, the, the plant is just to, para magkaroon ng shade. Kasi maganda rin siyang tignan eh, yung vine. Now, you can notice na sanga-sanga siya. Dahil siguro the purpose is for shading and not to bear fruit. Pero if we are going to prune the vine, iisa lang yung kanyang direction at doon siya mamumunga. Mga kapatid, even the plants undergo a process of purification and configuration. Pagbabawas at paghuhubog ng sarili upang maging mabuting sanga. Imaginein natin, ang taas-taas ng standards natin pagdating sa halaman. Imaginein natin, napaka-choosy natin sa halaman. Pinoprone natin, um, binubunsay pa natin yung iba. Para lang maging maganda, para lang maging mabunga. 
maganda rin sigurong ilagay natin ang mga prosesong ito sa ating mga buhay. Maganda din sanang bawasan ang ating mga sarili, hubugin ang ating mga sarili, kagaya ng paghuhubog natin sa mga halaman upang gumanda ang ating katayuan at upang maganda ang ating paninindigan. And hindi po ba, this is pretty much the principle behind the pursuit of happiness. If you want to be happy, you must be ready to be prone. Tanggalin yung mga unnecessary things in our lives. Because happiness emerges when we strip everything else from our lives and focus only on what is necessary. Jesus gives us the challenge, sisters and brothers, to bear fruit by allowing ourselves to be prone. Sabi niya sa ating Ebanghelyo, You are already prone because of the word that I spoke to you. The word of God becomes our pruning tool. The letter to the Hebrews tells us that the word of God is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. Ang salita ng Diyos, mga kapatid, ay hindi lang basta salita na nababasa natin at naririnig natin na binabasa sa atin. Ito ay buhay. Kaya nitong hilumin ang mga sugat. The Word of God could heal our wounds. It can change hearts. It could topple down tyrants. It could transform lives. It could give hope. It could teach love. Only if we allow it. Benedict XVI tells us that the Word of God can be heard, that the voice of God can be heard in the, in the Word of God, in the Scriptures. Pero sabi niya, it could only be heard, it could also be heard in the church, in her authorities, in her members, in the poor. And the voice of God can be definitely be heard in the voice of creation, the planet, Mother Nature. Paano nga ba magbubunga o mabubuhay ang isang sanga kung hindi naman ito um, nakakabit o pat, uh, nagpapatuloy sa puno? Hindi po ba? A shockingly simple principle is, paano nga ba naman magbubunga kung hindi ito kabahagi ng isang puno? Our gospel for today, brothers and sisters in Christ, tells us of the requirements of discipleship. Dalawang bagay lang. Una, purification. Pangalawa is connectedness. Purification as in our first, as was read in our first reading is not a matter of the circumcision of the genitals in the in the gospel jesus tells us that that purification now assumes a new meaning that purification is about the circumcision of the heart yung ating puso na ang nasisircumcise because a heart that is made pure, a heart that empties, its, empties itself of everything else and makes space for God, is a heart that is ready to change. Kung gusto nating maging mabunga, manatili tayo sa Diyos. Kung gusto nating manatili sa Diyos, makinig tayo sa mga turo ni Jesus. Jesus sa ating pag-iisip, Jesus sa ating pagtatrabaho, Jesus sa ating mga career, Jesus sa ating pamumuno, Jesus sa ating pamilya, Jesus sa ating pag-iral at paglago, Jesus sa ating lahat ng gawain, Jesus sa ating pamayanan, sa ating buhay politika, Jesus sa ating mga desisyon, Jesus sa bawat Tahanan at Jesus sa ating bawat paghinga. This is because it is only in God that we move 
and live and have our being. Amen. United as one body of worshipers in the Lord, we bring our needs with confidence before God our Father. For every prayer, your response is, Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. That the unity which comes from Christ, the true vine, draw all Christians to his church. We pray. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. May priest, religious, and missionaries be committed to their vocation in the church and remain united with Christ in their work. We pray. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. May those tried by life's difficulties be faithful to Christ and his gospel we pray eternal, eternal vine, vine grower make, make us, us fruitful. fruitful may the sick see christ as the source of strength and healing we pray eternal, eternal vine, vine grower make us fruitful. fruitful and may our dearly departed remain in christ forever we pray eternal vine grower make us fruitful we pray for our personal intentions and the intentions offered in this mass we also include the following intentions request for healing of vanji abenes teresita velasco aldrin bartolo tess ombonga and this giving of golden design and prime one marketing and all intentions petitions entrusted to the shrine of Jesus the divine word and Christ the King Mission Seminary. Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Hear our prayers. Keep us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, had been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake on the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took the bread. Giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, 
and looking forward to His blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop. Let us work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the, cor from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, word of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Brothers and sisters in Christ, behold Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 
the Lamb of God who takes away the sins, the pains, the anxieties, and the brokenness of the world. Happy are we who are called in this celebration. Lord, I'm not worthy it should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Ito ang araw na ginawa ng Panginoon. Tayo'y magsaya at magalak. Ito ang araw na ginawa ng Panginoon. Tayo'y magsaya at magalak. Magpasalamat kayo sa Panginoon Putihin siya kanyang gaway Walang hanggan Sabihin ng sambayanan ng Israel Walang hanggan kanyang awa Ito ang araw na ginawa ng Panginoon Tayo'y magsaya at magalak Let us pray Hear our prayers, O Lord, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Una po muna, nagkapasal ako si Father Ron Ray S. Partines. Nagkapasalamat ako kay Father Caloy, Jose Rapadas, SVD, for taking this Mass. Ako sana po ang naka-assign. But I saw it best na we offer this together sa Thanksgiving. Pangalawa din, Happy Festa ulit sa Bantay, Ilocosur. Sa mga sa parents ni Father Caloy na tuning in right now, mga kaibigan niya, and all people in Bantay. Happy Festa. Pangalawa po pala, sa Friday, darating na Friday po ay First Friday. We would like to announce to you yung mga masses namin na baka gusto nyo magsimba. Ang unang misa ay 6.30 a.m. Si Father Ben Beltran po ang magmimisa. 10 a.m. naman po ay si Father Jerry Orbos. If you like to join the mass, you can join po dito mismo sa Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word Facebook and YouTube channel. Last Sunday pala ninyo, yung nangputol-putol na po yung misa ni Father Orbos, yung mga tao sa Facebook, binabasa ko at YouTube, tinatanong, sino bang admin ng Wi-Fi na to at, ano, at putol-putol, two weeks na hindi pa naayos? Ang admin po ay ang Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Kaya kung kayo po ay na-disappoint last Sunday, we are very sorry. Pero gaya ng aming sabi ng aming coordinator sa Shrine Pastoral Council, si Nino Versosa, 
the past days we are not living any stone unturned we, pray, we hope and pray for the best po on Friday na maging maayos na po ang streaming especially sa 10 a.m. mas po ni Father Jero or boss sa gabi naman sa 6, 6, 6 p.m. ng Friday I will be the one to preside over the mass pangalawa po next naman ay kung gusto niyo po pala magpamisa we have a very effective and efficient mass intention system on your screen lalabas dyan yung pangalan ng aming link just look or type www.bit.ly slash shrine intentions pipindot-pindot din po lang yan then papasok po kayo sa page ng bit.ly shrine intention then afterward you pass it click it, submit, papasok po yan sa aming internal system wherein we have three employees and staff nakafocus lang talaga po sa pag-process ng inyong mass intention to make sure the following day ay nakapost po as you wish. At pangatlo, kung kayo po ay naghahanap ng Facebook page dedicated to the Bible and prayer, morning and evening prayer, pwede po kayo mag-follow and like sa Facebook page na Words to Light Our Path. The proper spelling will be posted po sa screen ninyo. Yung Facebook page na Words to Light Our Path at YouTube channel. Personally, I am composing the prayers. So, I, in, I inviting you personally if you can like or follow the page. So, that's all. Once again, thank you for supporting the Shrine. Thank you so much for patronizing us. Thank you so much for staying with us and remaining with us. Once again, maraming salamat, Father Jose, and to all those volunteers joining us in this Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go, be disciples of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Joseph